I'm Dr. Matthew Levitt, the Fromer Wexler Fellow at the Washington Institute for Near East Policy and the director of the Institute's Reinhardt Program on Counterterrorism and Intelligence. And I'm really pleased to introduce you to the Washington Institute's new product, an interactive map and timeline of the worldwide activities of Lebanese Hezbollah. This is a product that will be useful for government officials, for academics, for students, for journalists, for people trying to understand the terrorist, military, and criminal activities that Hezbollah is engaged in. Hezbollah, of course, is a multifaceted organization, but the political, social, educational, the public activities that Hezbollah engages in are things that it publicizes itself. And yet it goes to great lengths to cover, to hide, it's more illicit activities. And so it's taken me years to accumulate this data, first for a book that I published for Georgetown University Press, Hezbollah, the Global Footprint of Lebanon's Party of God, which was published in 2015, and then with more information that I've accumulated since then, and of course, more information on events that have happened since then. The golden rule of Hezbollah's Islamic Jihad organization and its terrorist wing is the less you know, the better. We're going to try and poke a hole in that mantra by trying to make public as much information as we can about Hezbollah's terrorist, military, criminal, arms procurement, and other activities around the world. Matt Levitt and the Washington Institute have created the definitive research tool on Hezbollah. It's a comprehensive database mapped to the globe with phenomenal primary research documents attached to it. I have no doubt that it will serve as an invaluable tool for counterterrorism practitioners, researchers, and government officials. I haven't seen anything quite like it. Uh, its level of detail its authoritative sources and the analytical capabilities that it presents to researchers, students, and scholars is really unrivaled. Um, certainly in my own research, I plan on using it. And it's also something that I would very happily take into the classroom and involve students in hands-on exercises. This really is a monumental accomplishment that brings really vital terrorist information to everyone's fingertips. So there are a lot of things you can do with this map. Of course, you can just explore it. You can you can zoom in. You can drag around the world. Uh, you can search uh, by uh, by name or place. You can search by date. Uh, click on a year. You'll get a drop down menu of everything that happens in that year. But let me show you uh, some of the thematic things that this map uh, can 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 show you. So first of all, just the global reach of Hezbollah. Um, the uh, way that this extends uh, around the world. So for example, the arrest of Ali Karani, um, arrested in New York, uh, tied to uh, surveillance also at the Toronto International Airport, but dispatched from the United States to a company in uh, China, right outside Hong Kong, to see if he could negotiate a deal for Hezbollah's purchase of ammonium nitrate, uh, believed to be for the procurement of uh, materials to make explosives. Or consider, for example, um, uh, the case of Mohammed Dabouk and Ali Amhaz, who were indicted in the United States for their uh, arms procurement, weapons procurement, dual use item procurement activities uh, from across the United States and Canada, sending material uh, to, to Lebanon. There are a variety of other cases like this, which show you the lines around the world, in this case, uh, a case out of South Africa, touching from the United States to Japan, uh, the Gulf, uh, Lebanon, uh, and, uh, and Europe. But this is truly an organization that when it comes to its global activities, its criminal and terrorist and military activities, its fundraising and arms procurement activities, it is engaged in these activities uh, around the world. It's such a good collection of primary sources, reports, analysis, and so on from all over the world, including from intelligence agencies, which have been declassified, that it provides a really thorough background picture from which any researcher could 
and would benefit. And I'm confident that it will be a tremendous resource, not only to academics in the field, but also to practitioners and policymakers. Uh, it, it brings um, a richness of data, um, it relies on primary source information, and it helps draw connections um, among all the different pieces of Hezbollah-related activity around the world in a way that, that no other tool that I have seen uh, has succeeded in doing. Over the course of nine years, I carried out research about Hezbollah's activities around the world for what ultimately became my book. I traveled around the world, I met with officials, I gathered documents, and I had the benefit of interviewing people from around the world when they came to Washington, D.C. Then after the book was published, I continued to do just the same, traveling around the world, collecting documents. What I had collected was open source information, only open source information, and I'm able to share it with you through this interactive tool.